Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I let you know that with the rollout of Edge version 132, which is now the latest version upgrade and the latest release, Microsoft had included the new Game Assist, which is this feature, Game Assist Preview, which according to Microsoft is a special version of Microsoft Edge that's optimized for PC gaming and can appear on top of your game in Game Bar. And um, go check that video out, which will be linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. Now just to let you know that something I missed yesterday when I first spotted this feature and let you know about it, is that you can actually uninstall Game Assist on Windows 10 and Windows 11 which I think is good news. So on Windows 11, and this applies to Windows 10 as well, if we head into our settings and head over to our apps, installed apps, and it's a very similar process on Windows 10, here you'll see Game Assist Preview. Now it says it's only 16 kilobytes um, in the installed apps list. So if we click on the three-dotted menu, you'll see there's a option to uninstall Game Assist, which I think is a step in the right direction because a lot of users, including myself, I don't think I would ever use the new Game Assist feature. And especially if you are running a low budget machine and you don't want all the extra clutter and processes running in the background, just to mention a couple of examples, you are able to uninstall the new Game Assist preview. Now, something else to take note of is that I have seen one or two comments where it seems now that the new Game Assist is on a controlled um, rollout that's um, region specific. So I have had a bit of feedback in the comments that it doesn't seem to be a complete global rollout. So you may see this new feature, you may not. And uh, um, just wanted to bring that to your attention that if you don't use the feature, you can actually uninstall the feature Game Assist in preview from the installed apps on Windows 10 and Windows 11, which I like because I like it when we get given options um, just to customize things to our own personal choice and preference in browsers. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.